Bias is AJ Wilson and Couch Base. I work on Sync Gateway, which is written in Golang. Uh, Sync Gateway is a large code base, which can be quite hard to get into when you first pick it up. So I'm going to show you how you can use IntelliJ with a Golang plugin to provide useful tooling to work on large Golang code bases. So using IntelliJ 14, and I'm just going to show the plugin details. So we're using version 0.9.16 of the Golang plugin and the GitHub repo for the plugin and the download is at this link here. So we're going to import the sync gateway which I've already cloned to my local machine. And you can see um, IntelliJ now recognizes the Go project. And it allows us to pick the SDK we're going to build the project with. The first thing the plugin provides is um, recognition of the project type and the file types, and it provides a, an appropriate Go icon. So we can pick the source for Sync Gateway. Again, you'll see it's given the Go file an appropriate icon and the IDE. And if we open main.go, um, we can use the go to to drill down into the code base. And here you can see we've got um, basic parsing and highlighting of the Golang language. We also get col uh, code folding and um, brace matching to identify individual code blocks. We get line commenting on commenting, a standard feature. And we also get um, mock comments. And from within the IDE, we can actually compile and run the application. So in this case, we're going to compile and run Sync Gateway. So we can test against it right from within the IDE. We also get um, auto completion. IDE against uh, both custom packages and um, built in Go packages. And we can also get code formatting. So using um, Go format. Other features um, from the plugin under new project, we actually can create a new Go project or a Go for App Engine project. Set up a Go path, Go format, save. Choose your SDK for projects. And then you have a standard Go project layout. Some of the things the current version of the plugin doesn't provide uh, doesn't provide refactoring. Uh, it's coming, I think, in 1.0. And there's no debugging on uh, live code. And I believe that's on the roadmap, but I don't know when that will be provided. But it already provides um, quite a quick way to navigate a new large project code base. And I think uh, it's, it's pretty useful as it is. Thanks for watching.